clash with Avondale in round 8 of the NPL Victoria at the ABD Stadium. After a solid 1-0 win over Port Melbourne last week, Hume will be looking to propel itself towards the top of the table. To the team news now, and it's a reshuffled back four with Urson Kaya missing due to injury, Dylan Jakupi his replacement. Hume remain unchanged in midfield with Daniel Clark and James McGarry to shield the back four, whilst Nick Hegarty will be tasked with getting forward and supporting the attack. Up front, Theo Markellis makes a return to the starting 11, where he'll partner Liam Boland and Jaden Prasad in a potent front three. Will Avondale remain unbeaten, or will Hume City continue its rise up the table? Let's head pitch side to Chris Gleeson for all the match action. It's Hume City to kick off, and they go straight to Nick Hegarty, who plays the ball long. Looking for Prasad, hit on by Boland, McGarry in the midfield, the ball falls for Towns. He lets the ball go for Germano, who turns. One back by Hume City. Ball in one, two. Ball flipped out wide. Brassard trying to play it back to McGarry. It's well cut out. As they come to the right hand side, Predefanich gives the ball up. Theo McCallis back in the starting lineup. Maybe a counter here. Ball in play. Beautiful ball by Hegarty. Brassard's in here on the right hand side. He will get to the box. Prasad goes in, saved by Oldfield. Oldfield makes a save. Prasad lays it off. Hegarty slams it. And it's into Rick Abene. And Hegarty's going to get the ball near the right hand side. Prasad maybe a bit too casual with that ball into the box. Traps an Oglu up in the air. Hegarty trying to win the ball back. And he's fouled Rick Abene in doing so. There's plenty of numbers back for Avondale. And it's Massimo Madoka. Jakupi glides past him, looking to get the cross into the box. The Boland, little push on Franjic. Ball falls into the box. Chose Van Oglu away. It's a halfway, but it's picked up by Blair Govan to Clark. And now Theo Markalis can stretch his legs on the left-hand side. Overlapping his Chris Chiosis. Doesn't play him. Turns back inside. Looks to pass the ball centrally. McGarry has got Hegarty. Hegarty clips the ball in. Headed away by Traz Van Oglu. And Avondale clear it out to the far side. Jonathan Gamano, who's bobbing up on that left-hand side. And Chris Dulu, who's come central so far in this game. Hume win the ball back. It's going to be Hegarty to try to get the ball in the box. Liam Boland, 1-0 Hume City. Wonderful ball into the box. And Liam Boland, with his fifth header for the season, gives Chris Oldfield no chance. And Hume City, with their second attempt on goal, Liam Boland makes no mistake with a bullet header. Wonderful work. They won the ball back. Hegarty on the right-hand side with his right foot, which is his wrong foot, crossed the ball into the box. And an unmarked Liam Boland was able to step into it and power the ball into the corner. Chris Oldfield tried as he may. He was never going to get near it. And Hume City get the dream start after 11 minutes. Hume City now with the ball in the midfield. Yet it... Wild ball one back, flip the ball over the top. Here's a chance. Michael Swear makes the save as Yusa Terran was slipped in with a slick pass over the top. Massimo Madoka makes that run. There's Avondale players. They try to play to Franich. The back heel by Madoka goes out for a throw. Franich, early throw in. Gamano flips it up to Shepard, who's central. Bleb Govan out of position. They try to play it out to the left hand side. Gamano, touch of the edge of the box, away by Brian Brand. It's all central. It's all Avondale. Quick passes. Yeta Towns has a shot. And it wasn't too far away. Got it out of his feet quickly. Michael Weir looked to have it covered. Chris Kiosis, who plays the ball up on that left wing, coming. Heads the ball back in the midfield. Hegarty lays the ball off. Here's a chance for space in the midfield. It's James McGarry with Prasad on the right-hand side. Dylan Jakupi wants to overlap. Prasad goes into the box, has a step, can get the shot away, it's deflected. Oldfield, what a save. It's tapped in, but the offside flag goes up. McGarry tapped in. Prasad with a nice run. Ball at the edge of the box. Theo McCallis bangs the ball away. Oldfield well out of his box, will collect and sweep. He's got Rick Abene, but he wants to play the ball long. It's over the top. Shepard looking to get on the end of it. Drops at the edge of his foot. Way to numbers by Hume, get it away. Chesting down was Boland. Traz Van Oglu was got onto the end of it before McGarry. Traz Van Oglu is very central. He's made a good run forward. Madoka plays the ball. Shepard, edge of the right box on the right-hand side. Coming in there, gets the boss in. Can he get the cross? Little touch by Brian Brand, gets it away. 
Kamal Ibrahim in the box, trying to cut it back. He can get it away again. And the ball falls for Prasad, who plays the ball long. And it's halftime here at ABT Stadium. We're an 11th minute header by Liam Bollins from across from Nick Hegarty has given Hume City a 1 0 lead. They hold on to that 1 0 lead at half time. Carly is on for Yitta Town to start the second half. As Avondale in her attack, Peter Franich plays the ball centrally, laying off Craig Carley. Here's a chance for Shepard in the box. It's straight at Michael Weir. Early ball to the right-hand side, Kamal Ibrahim. Theo Markellis tries to make the attack into the box. Franjic sliding out. Michael Weir gets there first. Great positive keeping by the former Brisbane Strikers goalkeeper. Come out quick. To me, young Christian, to whip this ball in too. As Wayne Wallace makes his way to the box. So more tall timber on for Hume. Ball played in. Michael Weir double-fisted it away. Doesn't get it too far away. Kamal Ibrahim at the edge of the box. They stand off him, step over, goes near post, sliding in, and it's a penalty. Dylan Jacoby stuck his foot in. It will be Kamal Ibrahim. Michael Weir versus Kamal Ibrahim. To get Avondale back on it, Kamal Ibrahim steps up, and it's off the crossbar. It's off the crossbar and out. He... Michael Weir went the wrong way. It's off the crossbar. Ball in the box. It's away at the edge of the box. Trudeski tries to get the ball. Has shot away. Chris Kiosis gets it away. And Hume City still have their team sheet. Goes to McGarry Short. Back to Nick Hegarty. Who Trudeski's in on him. A couple of sliding challenges. And Nick Hegarty gets the foul. Left hand side. Ball goes into the box. It's up goes, and the header is over the top. As Hume win the ball back, they want to take it quick. Long throw goes up. Attila Offley to get on the end of it. He's held back, and it's going to be a card. Fleming's going to get a card. It's it. The long throw to Attila Offley, who broke away. By the letter of the law, you think that that might be a red card. He was the last man back. Attila Roffley was going to get on the end of it. Fleming has been put into the book straight away. We have gone 94 and a half minutes at ABD Stadium. Hume City looking for their third league win. They play the ball out wide. It's a poor ball. It's going to go for a throw. But, and the referee blows the whistle. Hume City have done it. Three 1-0 wins in the league. They've defeated Avondale by a goal to nil. Liam Boland, a gang on target at home. An 11th minute header by Liam Boland, powered it in the back of the net. Full time at ABD Stadium as a first half of Liam Boland header sees the home side take all three points, condemning Avondale to its first loss for the year. There'll be little time to celebrate, however, with Hume back in FFA Cup action at ABD Stadium on Wednesday, where it'll face MPL 2 side Nunawading City. Make sure you stay tuned to Hume City's social media pages for all the news at the club. We hope to see you at ABD Stadium on Wednesday night.